What's up, everybody? Steve Looney here, graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number four of my new Adobe Muse CC tutorial series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over the workspace that you can customize in the program. Now, notice that I did not say workspaces, okay? So in our other Adobe programs, for instance, Illustrator, we're used to being able to come up and in, in to the right side here and to rearrange our tools um, to our liking depending on what types of projects we're doing and then saving them with you know custom names or whatever so you can always pull them up you know whenever you like in muse maybe it's because it's it's still the you know in a way it's still the beginning stage of a program it's only about three or four years old or because of the fact that it's strictly a web design program and you may not need too many customizations you can only keep what's over here and that's it basically you cannot save it um, but I'm going to talk about it real quick anyway because it still is valid and, and it still is something to know so if we come into here we can collapse all our icons to get more space and get a little less you know clutter and junk on our desktop um, you can open this up and you can expand your panels basically and in window you're going to see all the things that are checked are things that you can visually see right now some of them may be hidden um, like for instance you see states is not checked but if we come over here states is right in here so if we want to pull states to the front we're going to just do that and it's going to select that there we can also rearrange just as we can in the other programs by going like this we can pull them in basically as tabs and say I do something screwy and start pulling my stuff all along the screen for whatever reason and I go oh crap you know everything is all over the place very simply what you can do is you can come up to window and reset panels and it's going to reset it now now here's a trick that I kind of learned on my own all right just from uh, actually wanting to know the answer and then finding it in the other Adobe programs you're very used to probably saving your workspaces so being able to you know do whatever you want to do on with your tools put them wherever you want and then save that workspace with a custom name uh, for whatever type of uses you know say you're doing photo editing one day and the next day you're doing layout design you might have different tools that you're going to be using so with Muse, you are unable to save your workspaces at this time, but I do believe in time this will change. So what you can do as, you know, just another way around it is basically whatever you do in here, you know, you move your stuff here, you know, even if I say I move color out here, okay, and I quit Muse. When I reopen Muse, all right, it should be where you left it. I don't know about when you restart your entire computer, but I just quit Muse and I tested this a few times and it, uh, you know, everything comes up where it was, uh, which is pretty cool. And I, I mean quit the whole program, not just the actual website you're in. So that's it on your customized workspaces. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Definitely make a shout out in the comments and let me know some future topics you want me to touch on. And definitely check out my new Adobe Muse course. You're going to be able to build whole entire websites that are, that are going to keep evolving um, and I'm going to keep re-updating in the course you'll be able to download work side by side and then own them to use in your personal projects so my name is Steve Looney from graphicdesignertips.com I will see you for the next episode have a great night everybody peace